This expansion project that you see behind me puts us as the largest area east of the Rockies. Yeah, it makes it seem like you're a little bit withdrawn from the rest of the, uh, the skiing public. You're out of the regular trail network. The wind, you know, is kind of, you're sheltered from the wind and uh, the snow lasts longer because it's sheltered by the canopy. There are plenty of other glades on the mountain that, you know, the beginner or lower level intermediate skiers can, can enjoy. But this one's more for your upper level intermediate to advanced skiers. Some locals cut some of the first stuff that you get um, off of the backside, and just kind of the, the run out of that was this area. Yes, <clears throat> Mr. Westcott is uh, one of the original founders. From where we were in the mid 90s cutting that stuff with hand saws, and now you go in there and you can send it off those cliffs. <laughs> Behind me right there, that is the old traverse. Uh, now we consider it a road. Skinning, hiking, we made it wide enough so there's a passing lane. That's your extra 350 vertical feet that you're gonna gain into the six new chutes. There's a couple new pillow lines, four or five new drops. You had seven or eight guys in here. You have seven or eight different mindsets of what their system should look like. It's all one theme. It's possible, but highly doubtful that you'll be able to ski your same track twice in here. Um, just because there are so many options. If you come into Bracket Basin for the first time and you don't know what's out here, don't be afraid to stop into the top shack wherever patrol's working out of and ask us questions. Your first time in, acquaint yourself with the area. You know, actively look for the ski area boundary so that you know where it is and you know not to cross it. At the new signpost, there'll be safety letters, warnings, everything. I suggest everybody stop, read those. Stay out after three and travel in groups of three or more and take your time. There's plenty of area and plenty of time to have fun. Just like the parks and pipes, um, we have the, the saying, uh, look before you leap. I don't, it's kind of neat. I enjoy just being part of a bigger picture, you know, bigger than myself. And uh, it's kind of the sentiment I get from a lot of the crew as well, is that long after anybody who's skiing here right now is gone, our mark will still be here. So it's kind of neat being a part of a, a big picture and the real, the history of Sugarloaf. True connection with Amos and Stubb, and uh, for those gentlemen, if Amos was here, he would be very, very proud of us right now. <laughs>